Hi, Charlie Thorburn here. Welcome to Mordor Gundogs. Just quickly with our weekly waffle update. Um, so from waffle point of view, this has been not a great week because I was away Monday, I was away Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then on Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I had man flu. So I was pretty hopeless, feeling terribly sorry for myself and not doing a huge amount of training. So Waffles really this week just been out for his runs in the exercise paddocks with his brothers and his pals and has done absolutely zero training since his last video when he was being really naughty. So we'll just come straight out with him into the field. We're going to do a little bit of healing, a little bit of sitting, a little retrieve, let him do a bit of hunting. Just keep it really simple and just see where he's at and then we'll have a chat about it. Waffle. Heal. Heel. So at the beginning of a training session, we always just start off with this loose lead, okay? So he's following us along. The lead's loose. Sit. Make sure he sits and looks at us. No, 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 no. Sit. If I know a dog's going to jump up, if I can preempt it, I lift my knee up to stop them actually getting the opportunity to jump up. As I always say, prevention is better than cured. So just by doing that, I'm not giving him... I'm not giving him what he wants. Often I see people trying to push a dog down, saying, no, 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 get down. And all you're doing is you're giving the dog attention, okay? So we've got two options, well, a few options when they jump up. One is a sort of assertive, we put our knees up and then they can't, they can't jump up or they can, but they're not getting anything positive from it. So they just give up. The other one is we turn around and walk away. Obviously that's harder when he's on a lead. But what you don't want to be doing is as he jumps up going, no, 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 put him down and praise him. Because what I've just done there, is he's jumped up and I've praised him. He doesn't care or even know that he, I've said, no, 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 get down. That's irrelevant. He's just gone, jump up, attention. And that's all he thinks. Whereas when he jumps up and my knee's up here, he gets jump up and like, oh, his knee's in my face. And oh, well, that's not much fun, is it? So he's not getting any positive. However, if he's down there, See, as soon as he jumps up, if I give him any attention, he's just going to think that's okay. And you always know the cocker people because they got dirty trousers. So I need to make sure I catch him when he's calm and when he's down so I can praise him there. Good boy. Now I'm just going to let him up. Waffle, run away. Run away. It bolts in me. Hello. So we put him on his lead, again, having had his little run around and we just do another little heel session. And it's this repetition and I'm going to make you all bored of watching Waffle, I think. But you've got to understand that this is what it's all about. We're just going over and over the same stuff. Okay, we're trying to keep that lead loose. We're trying to keep him attentive to us. Sit. Deal. Trying to gain his eye contact all the time. Now we're going to start just walking a little bit further and a little bit more in a straight line because he's had his little warm up. So whenever I, whenever I feel I can, I start trying to go, do straight lines. And the reason we're trying to avoid straight lines until then is that as soon as they think they know where they're going, they start to pull. But if, if I, I need to start adding in these straight lines because ultimately going for a walk or going out on a shoot or going somewhere with your dog, it's about going in a straight line. So he needs to learn it, but we've got to drip feed it to him. So a little bit at a time. I walked across the field, which is maybe 25 meters and back again, and he did pretty well. I had to correct him once on the way out and on the way back, he started to lose his concentration. So I then had to revert back to a little bit of change in direction. It's about keeping on your toes all the time and never letting your guard down. Sit. Good boy. Now I'm getting his attention with the ball. What I'm starting to do now sit, is I'm trying to start to teach him to sit really quickly. Sit. And I'm using the ball as the, uh, as the reward. Good boy. Well done. Now I saw a I saw someone the other day and they had a young dog about this age and in one training session they did about 50 retrieves. I'm not going to tell you that person's wrong and their training methods are wrong, it's just not how we do it. We want to keep them very keen on the ball, 
but we don't want to make them obsessed by the ball and we don't want to make them bored of it. So a little bit of a play, getting him to follow me around, I'm gaining his focus, sit. And then his reward for doing it is he gets a fun of a retrieve and he gets to come back with it. And again, I'm not making it off him, I'm telling him what a good boy he is for being here next to me with the ball and then I'm taking it. As soon as I've taken it, game over. Often I see people, they take the ball off the dog and then they praise the dog. And as soon as they praise the dog, the dog then whizzes off looking for another one. What I want him to do is stop jumping up. But what I want him to do is to stay focused, sit on me, because I've praised him with the ball in his mouth. I've taken it off him. He's then gone, oh, am I going to get another one? So he's sitting for a limited period because he's still a silly little puppy, but he's sitting for a limited period focused on me waiting for another ball. Oh, look at this. And it's always all about just getting him to follow me around, getting him to look at me. And you can see he's getting quite attentive. He's really definitely growing up. Considering he had no training this week, you can see how much better and how much easier he was, he is today than he was last week. And that's just from preventing anything going wrong because where we let them out for their runs, they can't chase birds, they can't get up to mischief. They're just penned in paddocks the size of this area here. And uh, he goes out there for his run around with his family and he has a great time, but it's controlled. And, and therefore, he's not going to regress. He's not going to get any worse. He's going to stay at least at a level that he was at, even if he doesn't improve because we haven't done anything with him. But actually, I think he has improved because maturity is helping him on his way. He's much more settled and much more focused, even though he has his little moments. But you see how you've got to be on the ball straight up so quick. Because every time he doesn't get anything from me for doing that jumping up, I'm just getting out of his way. I'm avoiding him. I'm certainly not talking to him. He just goes, oh, it's really not worth that silly jumping up thing. Now he'll do it again in a minute or two because he can't help himself because he's waffle and he's all full of fun. But if we just show him that we are stronger willed than he is, he'll just start to go, ah, what's the point? I'll just tow the line, won't you, little waffle? Thanks for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed and you're all enjoying yourself. And remember, you get out what you put in. We'll see you again next time.